So the next thing I'm in a helicopter, I'm flying over the south side of uh, Washington. We fly over Reagan International. Look, at there's nothing moving on the tarmac, no planes in place. Uh, I look out the other side of the, air, of the helicopter and there's you know, flames just pouring out of the uh, Pentagon building. And you know, I don't know how far, far there, but this blue-black smoke. And it was, uh, the morning was just a beautiful, crisp, clear September morning. And this blue-black haze and smoke was coming out of the Pentagon all over the, the northern suburbs of, of, of Virginia. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, I used to teach history and uh, taught about the War of 1812. Here I am, Speaker of the House, and this thing has happened. We don't know who has attacked us, but certainly this country is under siege. And, uh, you know, what does history, what do we do from here? So we end up in a low, undisclosed location. And... Uh, Shortly, I'm joined by uh, Senator Lott, uh, Senator Daschle, who were the Senate leadership, and Dick Gebhardt was House leadership. Uh, later, uh, Tom DeLay and, and Dick Army joined us at that spot as well. So we really bet, spent the day um, watching TV, just like everybody else, and finding out what's going on. We talked to the president once, talked to the vice president a couple times after that, made the decision the president was coming back to Washington at 6.30 that evening. And, or 6 o'clock that evening, and uh, we decided that we would come back and land about 6.30 after the president uh, by helicopter. So uh, we did that, and we flew back to the, the Capitol, uh, landed over on the north uh, lawn of the Capitol, over on the Senate side, uh, 